Hello everyone and welcome to this video on setting up an MT Connect agent in Ubuntu 14.04. Today we'll be doing it from Halliburton, Ontario, Canada. The most beautiful place but about as far, as as far away from industry as you can get. Okay, so we have a brand new fresh droplet from DigitalOcean.com. All we've done is add a user, Miss Piggy, and added her to the sudors and we'll start the installation of our MT Connect agent. Now Ubuntu doesn't come with uh, some of the dependencies we need so we're gonna get those installed first of all. We're gonna apt-get libxm12 dev almost fell off my chair. CMake git libcpp unit dev most of these are just required to actually build the uh, source code the binaries from the source code essential screen we're going to use in our script and ruby we're going to use to run the simulator oh Picked the wrong package. It's supposed to be an L, not a two, not a one. XML. Oh, we should have done a yes. We'll let all these install. Now the MT Connect is set up in several parts. The first part that we're setting up here today is the agent. The agent is what's going to serve all of the data. In addition to the agent, we need adapters to connect to each machine um, because every machine is different. Okay, now that all our dependencies are installed, we're going to cd to Miss Piggy's home directory. We're going to get the source code from MT Connect. It's hosted on git MT Connect CPP agent dot Git. So once we download the source code, compiling it's pretty easy. We'll just make sure we're in the directory we're going to compile from. We're going to CMake the project. And finally we're going to make our source code. This will take a few moments. Now it took quite a while to compile, but now that we're compiled, uh, we can start putting the files it created into the directories we want. So first of all, we're going to need a directory called mtconnect to house all our files, our config file, our simulator later on. We're going to copy our config file over to that new directory and we're going to copy our binary to where all of our binaries go. Now, because it's a user binary, there might be a better place than bin agent to store it, but for our purposes, it's going to be no problem. Now that we've got our files in the right place, we need a script to tie this all together. It would run, you could go to agent, but it'll block your process. By using a script to either daemonize or load it to a screen, we'll save ourselves that blocked process. So we'll head back home. Now I've got the script that I wrote on the web server. So we'll just take a moment and download that. Into our home directory. We're going to move it to where Ubuntu holds all those scripts 
and we're going to drop the SH on the end of it for convenience. And we're going to make sure that it's executable, otherwise we're going to get all kinds of complaints and moans when we try and run it. And last but not least, let's put it in the startup scripts. Okay. And we're almost ready to run the agent. One thing that I will say, if we were to run the agent now, it would look for the simulator in the agent config. There's a look, it's looking for the simulator. It's not going to find it. So we need to get that simulator up and running so it doesn't fail. We're going to start a new screen so we don't get a blocked process. We're going to get over to our simulator. Oh, I don't think we've copied our simulator yet. Sorry. Without a simulator in the directory, we're not going to get very far. So we're going to go sudo make the directory for the simulator. We're going to copy all the simulator files. over to our new directory MT connect simulator and now the agent config is expecting the simulator file in a very specific location we're going to need to edit that because we changed where our simulator is. So we'll edit in whatever your favorite editor is. In our case, we're not up a level, we're from that level. And once we've edited our agent config, then we'll start up our simulator simulators using Ruby it's a lot of typing three axis text. Okay, our simulator is listening on port 7878. We'll control A and detach that screen and we'll just double check that it's still running. There's our simulator. And we'll start up our agent now that our simulator is there. Oh, we forgot to add our MT Connect user. That's going to cause problems. The script as written requires user MT Connect. So of course we have to add that user. Of course only a sudoer can add a user. Choose any password you like. And yes, everything's correct. Let's try starting that service up again.
The script does have a long timeout waiting for the agent to start just to make sure everything goes smoothly. Okay, so it says the agent has started. We're going to double check that by doing net stat and find what we're listening for on the TCP ports. We've got the 7878 as the simulator and port 5000 as the agent. Everything's up and running. We can now go to the web browser and make sure our data comes up. Okay, so we've launched our favorite web browser. We're going to type in the URL of our server or IP address of our server and we're going to take a look at port 5000. What returns is the probe data from our MT Connect agent. Everything's up and running. We can take a look at the sample. Data and see what's happening. And there it is. Our MT Connect agent is successfully set up on a brand new Ubuntu 14.04 LTS server um, as a droplet and from DigitalOcean. Thank you for watching this video on setting up an MT Connect agent. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments and questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you have anything negative to say, I'm not going to pay attention. Have a great one.